after a season of highs mm. hey. yeah. and lows. Bloody Palace call us Everton 4-0, 3-0 Fulham. And Palace lose 3-0 away at Everton. This channel has definitely grown. And now it's the final game of the season. Welcome back to Palace Mad Mason. Let's get the sounds, baby. Yes guys, welcome back to the channel for the final time this season between Crystal Palace and Nottingham Forest vlog at Sellers Park. Now, let's just go over the season in terms of the channel and I've got to apologise first of all. Only five vlogs in 2023 um, because of me at work, like I said. Um, but I thank you guys so much for the support. We're on 1,300 and something subscribers, guys. Honestly, it's utterly brilliant the support you've been showing me we've had like a thousand subscribers this season so first of all thank you very much for that getting on to the game crystal palace against nottingham forest at sellers park um bit of a nothing game again as nottingham forest got their win against arsenal last weekend to confirm their safety in the premier league however news turns to crystal palace where two loyal midfielders to the club james MacArthur. And Luka Milivojevic are set to leave in the summer. James MacArthur, a Palace player for nine years, uh, scored some great goals, some important goals throughout his Palace career. Well, obviously, was a Scotland player as well, but now he's leaving due to probably age reasons as well. And Luka Milivojevic at Crystal Palace for six years, scored some great penalties, you know. Um, was a decent player, but now I think his time's up. Every player's got an expiry date. So Luka Milivojevic is gone, MacArthur's going. Lukonga as well is probably going back to our Arsenal following his loan in the, in the winter window, but Crystal Palace are very close to signing a player. Bournemouth midfielder and Colombian international Jefferson Lerma is close to signing a contract worth four years at Crystal Palace, and I think that'll mean quite a lot to strengthen the squad depth and to you know fill in the gaps for the midfielders that are leaving. But onto the game today, Roy Hodgson is probably going to be his last game in the dugout for Crystal Palace. And I hope that the players send him out on a high. No Wilfred Zaha due to his injury still. But boy, could he leave? Let's find out. So without further ado, let's get the sellers for the final time this season. <laughs> right, guys, in next season's shirt, let's have a look at the lineup. So we've got the usual, we've got the same lineup to the team that drew 2 2 with Fulham last week. So we've got Sam Johnson in goal, back four of uh, Joel Ward, who scored against Fulham, uh, Mark Gay, Joachim Anderson and Tyrek Mitchell, Eze, Decore in midfield, and then uh, I'm not sure who's playing with him, so I'll put it there. And uh, we've got Ayu, Edwards and Elise. So we'll see how today goes. Come on the Palace. Let's finish this season on a high. <laughs> Palace keeper Wayne Hennessy's in the sticks for, for Forest today. You know, almost fumbled it there with uh, Jordan Ayew lurking, but you know, Palace starting well in this game. Massive mistake at the back, and Teo Awoniyi has scored for Nottingham Forest. 
tell you what, that's not a good goal to concede at the end of the season, that's only that. So, half time here at Sellers, Crystal Palace nil, Nottingham Forest 1. Not really great, to be honest with you. Um, we had no chances, I had nothing to really film other than the goal from Tewo uh, Ewondiyi. If, if you'd have asked me who's the key player for Forest to look out for, then it was Ewondiyi. It was a brilliant finish into the bottom right hand corner to make it 1 0 Forest. And, We've not really recovered. We need subs at half time. Chelsea are currently losing against Newcastle, which means we will finish 11th this season if results stay that way. But really, to finish the season, this performance has not been good enough at all. Well, I weren't expecting him to score. Will Hughes has equalised for Crystal Palace. It's his first Premier League goal for Palace. What a header. Looped over Hennessy. 1-1, one, one. get in, yes, Hughes, 1-1, one, one. brilliant header, brilliant finish, 1-1, one, one. get in. Coming towards the end of the game, the end of the season, still 1-1. I think we've been the better side since uh, equalising through Will Hughes. It's been a decent game out here today. It's a bit boring, you know, watching other games unfold. And, you know, we're very close to the end of the season, so let's see if we can find a late winner. As it stands, it's Chelsea 1. Newcastle won, which means that we will be finishing above them if we uh, remain level or go on to win the game. But yeah, so MacArthur's come on, done all right in his last game as well. So here he is with a header, good win with a header. So, you know, still 1-1. One, one. Let's see if we can find a winner. Brilliant chance, brilliant run from Elise. So he slips in Mateta and the shot is blocked by uh, Warrell, I think, out for a Crystal Palace corner. Not long left now, surely. Uh, on comes Andre Ayu, Jordan Ayu's brother, and uh, I think that's Sam Surridge, uh, the Nottingham Forest striker as well. So they make an attacking minded changes, but we're attacking minded with this corner that's about to come in from uh, Michael Elise. You know, you've got Gay in there, Addison in there, Ward in there. Let's see if we can get a winner in by Elise. And the cross in was Gahey and straight at Hennessy. Yeah, I think this is going to, pe going to peter out to be a draw on the final day. Michael Anise off Nairu Ahamada. And Riedervald comes on for Will Hughes, who got the equaliser. End of Anise season, he's done really well, got a few assists. But Riedervald and Ahamada are on for the last few minutes of the season. Three minutes of stoppage time. Not long now, uh, free kick to Forest. So we're probably going to stay on until full time. Um, so it's been a brilliant season, guys. Again, you know, in terms of results, not great, but just content-wise, it's been really good. Thank you so much for the support this season. It's been absolutely wonderful. Uh, again, he wins the header. Here goes Mitchell. Riedeval can't get there. Surridge wins the ball back. Warrell for Andre Ayu. Here's Yates. Well done, Anderson. Here's Ahamada. Dennis wins the ball back. MacArthur's there. Spring for the ball, is it? Near Kate. Back to Hennessy, who clears. Dennis with the header. Back for only for as far as Anderson. Here's James MacArthur. Can Crystal Palace find a late winner? Eze. Ayu, draws an Ayu, tries to with Mateta, can't get it in towards him. Ayu, Ayu wins the Palace free kick. 
the Palace players packing the penalty area. It's going to be uh, Eze to take this, whip it in. You know, you've got Riedervald in there, Mateta in there, Ayu in there, Anderson as well. Let's see if we can find a winner in that time. It would be a brilliant way to end the season. It really would. It's going to be... Um, be Eze to whip this ball into the box. Header's been cleared. And that is full time. Season two is finished. Full time here at Sellers Park. Crystal Palace one. Nottingham Forest one. It's ending with a draw and the season is over. It's been brilliant filming for you guys. We're in the new season shirt for next season's content. Can't wait for it. Um, but yeah, we finished in 11th place with 45 points. You know, not the best of seasons. You know, we've had a bit of a dip, then went back up again under Roy Hodgson. But under Roy Hodgson, it's been um, six wins. Uh, what's that? Six wins, two draws, two defeats. So yeah, brilliant record. But yeah, season done. Left in the old shirt, come back in the new one. I'm looking brilliant, I've got to say. Full time at Selhurst Park, Crystal Palace 1, Nottingham Forest 1. That is the end of the season. Season 2 is over. Um, you know, a quick review of the game. I don't think we were that good. But, you know, I think we just wanted that 90 minutes over and done with, really, to finish this season off. We finished 11th in the Premier League on 45 points um, above Chelsea finished you know that is utterly brilliant i gotta say but in the grand scheme of things it is not the progression that we wanted at the start of the season but hey ho let's go again for next season my next video is going to be the um premier league 2022 to 2023 predictions review or reaction video you know what i mean so uh looking forward to filming that and then it will be um reaction to signing Jefferson Lerma if he signs after that and then we'll see where we go from here please let me know what you'd like to see in future in the channel you know two years of Palace of Amazing content I want to try and you know be a bit more modern with certain videos certain types of videos that I do so please let me know what you'd like down in the comments go follow my TikTok as well my TikTok is my gold mine Palace of Mason, uh, YT go follow that you are freaking legends on there. Every single one of you that follows me on there is absolutely brilliant. So I'm going to love you and leave you guys. And uh, yeah, it's been a cracking season and I'll see you guys next season.